Hello and welcome to this video on graph transformations. Now there are four main types of transformations, but in this video we're just going to look at translations. But you can go over to my channel to look at the other three. So let's start off with what is a translation, right? Well, say we have a shape, so I've drawn a couple on this graph here, and I just move it around, okay? I just move it around the graph or the plane like this. That is called a translation. The shape hasn't been enlarged, or so it hasn't got bigger or smaller. It hasn't been reflected or rotated. Okay, it's just been moved around. And if that's the case, then it's a translation. So how do we describe these translations, right? Well, we use vectors. So vectors look something like this, where we've got X and then Y, okay? And so the X element, or the top number here, this one, that tells us how far to the right or to the left the shape has moved. So if the shape has moved to the left, okay, it's a negative number. So if it's moved two squares to the left, we'd write negative two. Then if it's moved to the right, it's a positive number. So if the shape has moved two squares to the right, you just write two, that's it. This bottom number here, this Y, tells us how far up or down the shape has moved, okay? So if it's moved up by two squares, then we write just positive two. So if it's moved upwards, it's a positive. If it's moved down, okay, it's a negative. And so if it had moved down three squares, we'd write negative three. And that's pretty much it. So let's have a look at this example here. So we might be asked, describe the transformation that takes you from shape A, which is this one, to shape B, which is this one. So we can do that quite easily, okay? We first have to say, well, it's a translation, okay? That's important that we describe the type of transformation. So we say translation by the vector, and now we have to describe it. And here's how I would do it, right? Pick a point on the shape, okay? So I'm gonna pick a corner, okay? Pick a corner on one of the shapes, Okay, and because we're going from A to B, I wanna see how can I get to that same corner but on shape B. So remember, the first point of our vector, the first number, is how far left or right we've moved. So how far to the right or left do I have to move this point here to get it in line with the one on shape B? Well, I have to move it over once, twice. I have to move it twice to the left, which means it's a negative, so I put negative two. Okay, now I need to describe how far up or down it's moved. So how far up or down has that point moved? Well, it's moved down, hasn't it? It's moved down by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So as it's moved seven squares down, and because it's not, because it's downwards, it's gonna be negative seven. And that's the vector. And that's it, we've described it. And you could even check it for yourself if you wanted to, so if I remove this and move the shape. So shape A has moved two squares to the left, so one, two, and then seven squares down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see it's the same shape. Let me do one more example that's gonna be slightly different. Okay, so it's gonna be the same question. Describe the translation that takes you from shape A, which is this one, to shape B. So again, I'm gonna say, well, I know immediately that it's a translation. So let me write that in. And it's translated by the vector. Well, let's work it out. So again, I'm gonna pick a corner on both, and I'm gonna see how to get from corner of A to the corner of B. So how far left or right has it gone? Well, it hasn't, it stayed exactly in the same spot. So that I just write zero. And now how far up or down has it gone? Well, it's gone down one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's negative six. And that's it, that's how we do translations. So uh, let's go over to my channel for more YouTube tutorials or go over to my TikTok for more worked exam questions. Thanks for watching.